Hello everyone. Today is Monday, September the 19th, 2022. And this is floss tube number 107. <laughs> Crazy. Um, my name is Shelly. This is my channel Proverbs 3122. Um, and I'm filming from Rogersville, Alabama, which is in the northwest corner of Alabama in an area called the Shoals. So, um, I have notes today because I've been forgetting to say some stuff. Um, so, quick life update. I have forgot to update you guys at the end of last video about my daughter Lakin and her appointment at the cardiologist. Um, her blood pressure was um, high, like 152 I think over 90 so um he said that um they did another EKG there it was normal they did uh go over the echo it was fine um he's wanting to have her check her blood pressure to see if we are in fact dealing with you know hypertension um and she's gonna wear a monitor for a month so so far, um, you know, whenever they've looked at the heart rate and the rhythm, the rate's high, but the rhythm's been normal. So, now that doesn't mean she's not, you know, going in and out of an abnormal rhythm, but um, so far, the rhythm's been normal. So, that's the update on Lakin. Um, we did have Malachi over for the weekend, and he's always a hoot to have over. Um... <laughs> He said something yesterday. We were talking about um, we were talking about him starting a, a lawn care business when he's in his teens. Um, my older daughter Kimberly, his mom, she went and saw the same rheumatologist that I had seen, Doctor Jalbert, and I guess they got to talking about homeschooling because she's homeschooling her kids. And, you know, he said that he was homeschooled and that, you know, when he was a teenager, he had a lawn care business and was making, you know, $20,000 a year when he was like 15, you know. So Malachi was talking about, you know, him wanting to do that. And he said, a very wise person said that if you're not dirty, you're not working hard enough. And he said, and that wise person was me. <laughs> He just was so proud of himself. Uh, oh, gosh, he cracks me up. But anyway, while he was here, um, we watched. He likes to watch the Muppet movies when he comes over. So uh, we we're looking through the list of, you know, what we had on streaming channels. And um, we saw A Christmas Carol. And he's like, what's that? And I was like, you've never seen A Christmas Carol? And so we watched the Muppets uh, A Christmas Carol. So that was fun. I told him next time he comes, we're going to watch Secondhand Lions because when we saw, um, is it Michael Caine? Michael Caine that's in The Muppets Christmas Carol. He's in a Secondhand, Secondhand Lions, and so it made us think about that. And he, we've watched it before. Maybe Nathan was the only one that was over, but or maybe he, Nathan, Malachi just doesn't remember. But anyway, I told him next time we're going to watch it because I love that movie. So I discovered something yesterday i was watching um uh, christine over at stitch all the things with her latest floss tube and she showed a project that she was um she didn't work on it this past week but you know it's in like her rotation right now and she just didn't have a chance to work on it but it was from emma congdon's book cross stitch for the heart beautiful design and so i went online and kind of looked at you know the book and in looking at that book on Amazon, I got a sample of the Kindle edition because I wanted to see what, what it looked like that way. Unfortunately, the sample didn't give me any patterns to look at. So, um, but while I had that pulled up, it gave me a bunch of recommendations for um, Kindle Unlimited books. They have a ton of crafting, but I don't know why it never occurred to me to look for that. But, um... You know, there was several cross-stitch, bunch of crochets, and when you narrow it down to cross-stitch, you get cro crochet thrown in there. I don't know why, but, um, yeah. So, if you have Kindle Unlimited, which is like $10 a month, and, you know, 
that's pretty much most of what I read is from Kindle Unlimited, honestly. Um, you know, it's $10 a month and you get to read, you get to have 10 titles out at a time, but you know, you can return one and get another one, you know, as much as you want. They have magazines, um, including Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine, which was yay, because that's not available over on Readly. It had some of the other ones that had just cross-stitched, the world of cross-stitching, um, some of the other ones that I get over on Readly as well. And then they have other titles also. But um, <clears throat> once I looked at those ones that were available on Kindle Unlimited, they had a, um, I want to say it was like modern folk art cross-stitch. Um, you know, looking at it there and seeing all the patterns and everything, I felt comfortable getting the Emma Congdon one on Kindle. So I did buy the cross-stitch from The Heart. It was like $19 for the Kindle. But... It popped up with um, her other one, Cross Stitch for the Soul, and it was only $3, you guys, on Kindle Unlimited. So I snapped both of those up. So be sure you check that out if you're, you know, on Amazon or you have Kindle Unlimited. Either way, definitely go and get the PDF or the, not the PDF, but the Kindle version of her Cross Stitch for the uh, Soul. You know, uh, the way I do my stitching, you guys know, I don't like paper charts. If I have a paper chart, I take a picture of it and I put it in my good notes or my pattern keeper. So I would do the same thing with a Kindle book. I would just take a screenshot of the pattern and put it in my good notes and, you know, make a working copy. That's what I do. Okay, so... <clears throat> What have I stitched on? So I've stitched on my linen and threads. Um, let's see. I showed you guys on Saturday. So um, let me see if I did any more since I've shown you guys. Yes, I just, just did a little bit more on Saturday evening after I filmed. So let me get to the right place. So, um, I did, you know, these two motifs fully and then this partial. Um, I don't like the way the, I don't know, I don't like the way the spacing is with this one, but it's just going to stay the way it is. Um, and that's for my daughter Lake and Lake and Michelle. So, uh, anyway, I got a few more motifs put in. I did not work on this yesterday, but I will work on this today and tomorrow. And so what I worked on yesterday was my um, my every other Sunday pieces, which is um, my temperature chart. This is from Apricot Polka Dot over on Etsy. I'm stitching on 14 count chalkboard Black Ada with her called for DMC flosses and this is what I've gotten done so far. So I've made my way up right here and then turned the corner. So I love looking at it. And doing the two weeks, you know, at a time, it's very doable. So, and it still left me time to work on this other piece, which is, um, <clears throat> we're doing a stitch along over in, the Magazine Monthly Challenge group, and just a few of us are doing it, but um, it's a band sampler from Just Cross Stitch. And it has specialty um, stitches, bands of specialty stitches. So um, I worked on these three bands yesterday and got them done. It took forever, those eyelets. But, um, the Smyrna's were only supposed to be over um, two threads. You couldn't tell at all what it was. It looked like just a jumbled mess when it was over just two threads. So I ended up doing it over four um, so that you could, you know, look and see that it's an actual Smyrna um, and not just, a, you know, they look like just like dots of floss. 
Um, and then I did the regular eyelets and then the diagonal eyelets, which I absolutely love doing. So, I'm using anchor flosses, my own choices. I'm just picking, kind of picking as I go. And then this is a 28 count ivory even weave that I got from Hobby Lobby. So while I was working on these three bands, I watched, um, I watched Austin Land. I love that movie. I absolutely adore that movie. And it came up in my suggestions on YouTube. Um, I watched Nisi Lynn's latest floss tube. I watched Christine stitch all the things. And then I watched Austin Land, watched, um, I don't know, maybe a quarter and a half of a Saints football game. Um, but LSU game was pretty dang good Saturday. <laughs> um, whew, man, they scared me a little bit, though. Um, and I did watch another episode of Un, um, Unforgettable. Unforgettable. So... That's what I've been watching. I watched some um, Yellowstone over the weekend. When I first started watching that show, I was like, I don't know if I can really do this. They're all so despicable, and there's nobody to root for um, other than the little boy. But um, I don't know. It's kind of gotten a little better. I guess I'm getting, you know, involved in the lives of the people and want to know what happens. But anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Um a new, the new season of Shetland is dropping one episode a week. So I definitely watched that as soon as I saw it. I went on Amazon Prime just to see what was available and saw that. And I was like, <gasps> I think I, I screamed or something. And they came in from the living room and was like, what's wrong? <laughs> new episode of Shetland. This is um, Doug. Is it Doug? Doug's last season as Jimmy Perez. That makes me sad, but anyway, that came out. Um, the new season of Handmaid's Tale has started, so I watched that, I think, maybe Friday. I watched two episodes of that, so lots of things to watch, lots of lots of things to stitch, for sure. And I need to get out of here because I've got to go to work. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll continue to get ready fast enough to do these in the morning, because it just really is rushed in the afternoon when I get off and I got supper and all that to take care of, plus stitching to do. So, um, you know, maybe I can do them in the morning. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you guys on the next clip. Sorry for rambling. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, September 20th. I just have a quick update today. Um, I managed to get out of work, like, what, by 4.05. So that's always nice when I can leave at four o'clock ish um you know I'm able to get home and have enough time to do some other stuff so I got home last night and um since redoing the craft room and the closet I had a bunch of stuff on one of my um well the guest room bed and it's just sort of piled up I need to catalog it to in order to donate it and claim that on my taxes and so I did some of that yesterday when I got home, um, you know, tended to supper, all that stuff. But I also got um, one more column on the Project Linus quilt done. Um, I cross-stitched some on my linen and threads. And then I spent probably about a half an hour, I guess, on Lakin's, um, Lakin's quilt, which is right here beside me. You can see it right there in the hoop. So I wasn't able to get a full um, a full um, set of arcs done, but I did work on it. So that's always a plus. My goal is to work on that Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. So tonight's my late night. So none of that will be happening tonight other than cross stitching on this piece. So I worked some more on this motif right here, sorry. Got some more stitches into that. Um, I really want it to have that finished by the end of my seven days for Whip Go. 
I don't think that's going to happen. It's a fairly large motif. It's only like half of it. It goes off the page, you know, um, like these do. But um, I still want it to have that done, but it, I don't think it's going to happen. So, but anyway, I'll work on it again tonight and see how much I can get done in those seven days. So that's it. I gotta go put some chicken in the crock pot and go to work and I will see you guys on the next clip. Thanks. Hello everyone. It is Thursday, September 22nd. I'm about to head out to work. I'm gonna do a quick update. Um, I didn't stitch at all day before yesterday. Um, I ended up having an 11 hour shift on Tuesday, which is my late night, which is very unusual for the doctor that works late. Um, so I don't expect that to be a common occurrence. I pray to God it's not because, who man, I was still feeling the effects of it last night when I got home. Um, but you know, I did get some stitching done yesterday, but just a little bit, no sewing, no hand quilting, nothing like that. So I've moved on to my next whip go piece which is from uh, Just Cross Stitch, February 2016. And I sort of forgot last night. Um, my whip go goal is to get the center gray area done. <laughs> and I got done doing... Um, filling in one part of it and I sort of forgot that that was my goal and I also was a little too lazy to get up and get more gray thread and I always like to see all the colors come alive and so uh, what I did is I outlined one of the little pink sections that's to come and you know still got to fill that in but I did get um, some more stitching on it this morning I woke up I don't know, an hour and a half before my alarm was going to go off, and I really wanted to go back to sleep, but uh, it wasn't happening, so I finally got up about an, well, about a half an hour before my alarm time, and, you know, got about, I don't know, 15 minutes of stitching or so, while I watched just a small little snippet, snippet of the first um, voice blind auditions, so. This is a 28 count even weave. I'm using, um, this is a DMC, this is a DMC. This is a thrifted floss. And then there's another darker gray. Um, I think maybe it's on around the outside. I haven't looked at the picture of this in a while, but um, yeah. So some thrifted, some D DMCs. S um, Joanne is having their, um, their big floss sale today, tomorrow, and Saturday, and so probably going to go pick up some DMC for a couple of projects, like the butterfly, uh, circle. I had, I have a list of, you know, I mean, it takes a lot of floss, so I was going to go ahead and buy skeins, fresh skeins for that piece, um, that's it. That's all I've got. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and get lots of stitching time in more than I will get in. And um, I'll see you guys on the next little clip. Bye. Hello, everyone. It is Friday, September the 23rd. And I'm here to close out this video. I'm going to go ahead and close it out. I really don't like leaving them two weeks, running two weeks. So, even if it's shorter, I'm still going to try to do once a week uploading. Um, I won't have a chance to film tomorrow. I'm going on a shop hop with our um, quilt club and just found out a little while ago that Patches and Stitches, which is um, a combination quilt shop and needle workshop, um, they're giving us 15% off. So, yay! Um, so, yeah. Um, I did just get back from Joanne, took advantage of their DMC floss sale. 
Um, I had a list of uh, what I did is this morning I went through all of my floss to see things that I was getting low on. And then I also added those ones for the butter butterfly circle pattern. Um, <clears throat> butterfly circle. So, yeah, I don't know how many. Um, this is my receipt. <laughs> um, if it says how many skeins, how many total items. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, 58 items. So I got 58 skeins for $28. So not too bad. I also got my order in from 123 Stitch today. So let's see. I got a couple of, um, well, not a couple. One Lizzie Kate Flip It with school theme things. Um, this is Tiny Modernist Mouse's Schoolhouse. I think it's so cute. Um, I did get a pack of Peacemaker's Needles. I'm not going to worry about crinkling and unwrapping it for you guys to see needles. Um, and then I ordered these two patterns that are from Sugar Stitches. I've shared their patterns before. They have a shop on Etsy, but since I was making this order from 123 Stitch, it was just a few cents cheaper, and so I went ahead and did it. Um, I wish I would have thought about ordering some more black um, cashel for my ornaments, but I didn't think about it until yesterday. So anyway, um, I love their patterns. I think they're really cute little monthly patterns. And Miss September. So that came in. Um, I stitched last night some more on my winter daybreak piece. Got a good bit done. It really goes kind of fast. Um, I didn't stitch very long. I only got, I don't know, a little over 200 stitches, I think, in. But um, that's what I've got done. So I made the decision that I'm not going to work on Elizabeth Weston this month. Um, I, I really want to. I really want to get my whip go goals done for this month. Um, and so you know, I'd be stitching on this. I think one more day, the winter day break, and then moving to Elizabeth. Um, I'm just not feeling her right now, and so I'm going to work on my my winter day break and then I'm gonna go back and do one more day on linen and threads mystery style for my whip go pieces. Um, and then next month I will work on Elizabeth toward the beginning of the month and get her, you know, um, I don't wanna say out of the way, but you know, she's a big chunk of stitching time. And so a bunch of days, like, you know, six or seven days, I usually need to stitch on her to finish a page. So, um, sorry. So yeah, I'm just not feeling up to it this month and I'm gonna do her first thing next month. So I went for a massage earlier today and um, I don't know why I didn't, why it didn't dawn on me before, but you know, when I was working, I would go once a week and I'm going to go once a week now that I'm working again, cause I need it. Um, yeah, can't live without it. Honestly. Um, I saw something the other day on Instagram. I think it was a meme. It was, um, it was Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. And it said something about, I don't know, it said something about, oh, you think I'm um, I'm so privileged to have, you know, to take a nap every day. Um, well, let's say you live with, you know, your body attacking itself. So, um, you know, massage seems like, oh, it's such a, such a luxury that don't, you know, you don't really need it. Um, I do, and it's really it's not completely pleasant while it's going on, but, um, you know, when I couldn't go during COVID lockdown, I really, really saw the difference that it made and how I was feeling. 
Do I still hurt? Yes, but it keeps it under control. And, you know, when I couldn't go those three or four months that I couldn't go, I really, really, really saw how much worse it was without massage therapy. So I'm going to go once a week while I'm working. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. So I'm going to wish you all a wonderful weekend. Um, hope you get lots of stitching time in. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye. I did remember one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, and I'm glad this is going to be tacked on to the end. Um, this is about planning. And so if you're not interested, you know, sign off and go watch the next floss tuber. But I do digital planning and I've been using GoodNotes, which, you know, I really like a lot. Um, but there were a few features that was always like, man, I wish it would do this, or I wish it would just do that, or I wish it was a little easier to do this. Um, one of the YouTubers that I follow on digital planning, KD Digital Studio, she did a video on this app eight months ago, but I guess at the moment I didn't, you know, I don't know, I just wasn't engaged with it. I didn't watch it. And I don't even know. It's one of those things where, how did I end up here? I don't know. But um, I saw an ad somewhere for an app called Zinnia, and I went and checked it out. I watched KD Digital's um, video about it, and I downloaded the free trial. It is like $40 a year if you do, you know, a year subscription at once. It's like $3.99 a week, $9.99 a month, or you can do $39.99 for the whole year. Um, I didn't hesitate because um, it has a lot of content that's already built into it. Like I've, you know, I've got good notes to do my planning in, but I like to decorate my pages. So, you know, I've had to go to Etsy and buy stickers and stuff. This has got all kind of content like stickers, washi tape, um, journaling pages, um, little, you know, text box backgrounds, um, dividers, um, decorative pieces of paper. Um, it has like sets of ready-made like journal, you know, um, templates and stuff, um, or planner templates. So it's got all of that built in and they're always adding content every month. And so, um, definitely worth the $40 for a whole year. Um, but anyway, when I saw that and saw some of the things that it could do it was a lot of the stuff that I wish that good notes you could do with. Um, and so, you know, to say I'm going to completely stop using GoodNotes, I don't know about that. I may still do my stitching patterns in GoodNotes just to keep the other thing, you know, um, just planning and journaling, but um, a really, really nice app. So if you're into digital planning at all, definitely check out Zinnia app. Um, definitely, for sure. And check out KD Digital Studios video on it. She did a spread when she was doing the video and it came out fantastic. She did a spread of um, her elopement day and it just was so pretty the way it came out. Um, she's really good with drawing and everything, but you know, just the things that were built into the program, the app itself, um, the photo frames and the paper and what you could do with the paper and what you can do with the text. She also shared um, on another video about how to add fonts to your iPad. That's something that I've not done yet, but I absolutely am obsessed with different kind of fonts. So she recommends this site. It's called DaFont. It's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And what a ginormous, humongous rabbit hole. <laughs> um, you know, some of them are free for personal use. Some of them are free completely. Um, some of them I'm sure you have to pay for. But, I um, mean, just, you know, I don't think you could even look at all that they have available. Um, but, yeah, I love that kind of stuff. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm, I don't know. I'm hoping to maybe one day do some planning, some digital planning videos. Um, separate, you know, from my floss tube videos, but still on this channel. So, okay. That's all I wanted to tell you. Bye.